Rock and Learn. I don't know what multiplication is. I wish someone could help me out. Whoa! I know you! You're Marco the Pencil! I am Marco the Pencil! And let me tell you, multiplication is one of the coolest things you will ever learn! It's a lot like having your own magic show! Really? Sure! Suppose you have a few of something. With a little multiplication, you can have many more! How did you do that? You're going to learn, my young friend! You are going to learn! I like magic tricks. But multiplication sounds complicated. It's not. It's really quite simple. I'll teach you. First, do you know what multiplication is all about? Not really. Multiplication is a quick and powerful way of adding the same number over and over again. If you can add, and I know you can, then you can certainly learn to multiply. Now, let me show you how multiplication works. Suppose you have three guitars. Ooh, I like the way that one sounds. <laughs> Me too. Now, imagine you have five groups of three guitars. Whoa, Marco, that's a lot of guitars. How many are there anyway? Well, you could add three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Which gives you 15. But that's so slow. I'd rather be fast. <laughs> I thought so. And that's where multiplication gives you power. What we actually have are one, two, three, four, five groups of three guitars. Three five times or three times five equals 15. Notice that this sign means times. And it shows that you are multiplying. You can also write the problem this way. 3 times 5 equals 15. So the power of multiplication is that it takes something slow, like adding the threes one set at a time, and bada-bing! It makes the process faster in one step. Are you getting the power of multiplication? Loud and clear! Magnifico! Now, the numbers in a multiplication problem have special names. The numbers we are multiplying are called factors. And the answer is called the product. You can remember this quite easily because you go to stores to buy products, right? And where are those products often made? Factories! That sounds kind of like factors. Oh, you're good. You, you're good. So, we multiply the factors in this factory part of the equation to get our product, or answer. Smart boy! I like it the way you think. Now, I know a great way to practice multiplication and really experience what it's all about. I'm going to need some pennies. Did somebody call for us? Actually, yes, but I need even more pennies. So, how many of us do you need? Mm, could I perhaps get 12 pennies? Okay, we'll just multiply ourselves times 6. Is this better? Certainly. 2 times 6 is 12. But I was hoping to get some real pennies. We're not real? <laughs> oh, no. Let's work with these real pennies. You can get your own pennies and easily practice this yourself. Take six groups of four pennies. To know how many pennies you have, you could count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. <sighs> But if you know your multiplication facts, a much easier way is to say 4 times 6 equals 24. That is much better. Now I know why it's important to learn my multiplication facts. 
It can save me a lot of time in the long run. Right! Another great thing about multiplication is that the order in which you multiply the factors does not matter. We can change the order of the factors and presto digio! The product does not change. Let me show you why. This shows the multiplication problem 4 times 6. And if we move it around like so, it now shows the multiplication problem 6 times 4. But we still have the same number of pennies. 24. Oh, I understand. Let me show you some other neat tricks with multiplication. When you multiply a number by 1, the answer is always that same number. 4 times 1 equals 4. 6 times 1 equals 6. 8 times 1 equals 8. 50 times 1 equals, you guessed it, 50. That's easy to understand. And since you can switch the places of the factors, I'll bet you can multiply 1 times any number and your answer will always be that number. That's right. You're bright. Here's another trick. When you multiply by zero, you always get zero. Any number times zero always equals zero. That just makes sense, Marco. If you have zero groups of something, you don't have anything. And if you swap that around, no matter how many times you add zero to zero, you'll always get zero. Perfect. Now, how do people get good at multiplying? Uh, they could use a calculator? Well, it's not always convenient to use a calculator. Smart people, and smart pencils for that matter, memorize their basic multiplication facts. From 1 times 1 all the way up to 9 times 9. Some people even like to memorize all the way through the 12s. How am I going to do that, Marco? The same way you get to Carnegie Hall, kid. Practice. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. One easy way to memorize your multiplication facts is with a beat. You can also practice skip counting. Whatever you do, practice makes perfect. I want to show you a trick that you can use to help you learn multiplying by 9. Can you give me a hand? I don't seem to have any at the moment. <laughs> Actually, I need two hands. To multiply any number by 9, look at your 10 fingers, palms facing you. Your fingers are numbered this way. Count from the left until you reach the number you want to multiply by 9 and bend down that finger. Count the fingers to the left of the bent finger for the number that goes in the tens place. The fingers to the right of the bent finger give you the number in the ones place. For example, to calculate 3 times 9, bend down the third finger. There are 2 fingers to the left of the bend and 7 fingers to the right. So the answer is 27. To find the answer to 4 times 9, bend down the 4th finger. There are 3 fingers to the left of the bend and 6 fingers to the right. 4 times 9 is 36. Wow, I love that trick. It only works when multiplying by the 9s, but you must admit, it's pretty handy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Marco, can you show me some more tricks? No. Please! Okie dokie. Actually, this one is so easy, it's a little embarrassing. It's a trick for multiplying by 10. To multiply any number by 10, simply write it down and then presto! Add a zero at the end. You see? 4 times 10 equals 40. And 65 times 10 equals 650. And 372 times 10 equals 3,720. <laughs> Super! I wish there was some way for me to see all the facts I need to learn. You know, all at once. Your wish is my command. Watch and be amazed as I turn this ordinary picnic table into...
A times table! Awesome! We can find the product of any two factors by looking at this table. 6 times 8 equals 48. 7 multiplied by 9 is 63. Let me try, Marco. 8 times 4 is 32. I hope you've had a good time learning about multiplication with me. I sure have, Marco. Now it's time for me to go practice my times tables. <laughs> That's a great idea. You might even want to time yourself. <laughs> practice performing with Rock and Learn multiplication programs, and you're sure to get it right. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs>